Imagine needing to pay hundreds of dollars in fees just to get your stolen car returned. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. It happened to a New Jersey woman. Her car reported stolen and then recovered. But now she has to pay hundreds in storage fees if she wants it back. CBS 2's Dick Brennan went to demand answers. The car was parked right here, right in front of my house. And it was stolen right from the front of your house. Stolen right from in front of my house. Jolie Hagazi's Honda Civic was swiped on Orange Avenue in Bloom Field back on July 16th. She filed a report with the Bloomfield Police Department right away, and nothing happened for weeks. And then just this past Wednesday, I got a letter in the mail from the sheriff's office saying that my car was found. Great uh, news. Great news, only it was found the day after it was stolen. And it's been sitting in storage, uh, accruing all these storage fees that they're expecting me to pay. It was the Essex County Sheriff's Department that found the car in Newark July 17th. But nobody, not the sheriff, nor the Bloomfield police told her. And now she owes over $800 in those storage fees. The price goes up every day the car sits there. I feel like I'm, I'm the victim of, of my car being stolen twice. It's like it's held for ransom and, and it's stolen again, but this time legally. So who's to blame for all this? Well, Hagazi says the Essex County Sheriff's Department says the minute they found the car, they notified the Bloomfield Police Department. But Bloomfield says they were never notified. And in the meantime, the car has been sitting in this tow pound for weeks. We went with Hagazi to the tow pound so she could get her belongings out of her car for the first time. She got them, but get this, she could still lose the car completely. Why? If it's not um, settled by, I believe, Monday, the 17th, it gets sold for auction. The, your car that was stolen is going to get sold for auction? Because it's been there for 30 days. Yeah. And I just found out. So I just, no one's willing to help me. Unbelievable. But we are trying. We reached out to the Bloomfield Police Department and the Essex County Sheriff's Department. They say they are looking into the case. Gosh, can you just get a break here? Well, clearly a mistake was made, and clearly this woman shouldn't have to pay for it. By the way, this is a 98 Honda. It's not worth much more, she told me, than the $800. So a lot of outrage here. This is true. Very right. frustrating for her. Thank, Thank you, Dick. Dick.